Hey, it's Pastor Kelly coming back at you. Uh, I've been out there surfing the net, trying to find everything on what's going on with these cop killings. And folks, I believe it's getting bad. And I, these people here are the ones that called for it. The, the not exactly the Black Lives Matter people, but a lot of people that follow it. I come across this here video, and or excuse me, this web page, and it just really tore me up. This woman right here, woman, girl, kid, uh, she's a kid to me, talking about that c policeman that got killed in Texas, said that she can't believe so many people care about a dead cop and no one has thought to ask what he did to deserve it. He had creepy perv eyes. Quote, unquote, that's her words, not mine. I, yeah, I cannot believe these people are thinking this way. And folks, do you really know what you're doing if you're commi if you're starting a war on the police force? You will be total anarchy. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? But if that's all you think of a, of a dead person, I, I pity you. I pity your soul. Uh, they're still out here hunting for this guy, or guy's killer here. Uh, you know, there's three suspects. There's supposed to be three white and one black person. Oh, my goodness, I said the word black. Then I'm in trouble now. Supposed to be three white and one black persons that killed this police officer here. They're making it look like, <sighs> mercy sakes, it looks like an, they're, they're, they're doing an insertion in Afghanistan or Vietnam. These are the pictures here. Uh, this is all sky here, uh, pictures of their operation. I, I can't even call it a manhunt. It's more like a special operation, a spec op. I mean, mercy sakes, they got snipers on the rooftops. Come on, folks. And then I found uh, another article here that's kind of on the back burner at the moment. It was just posted at 639. I'm going to probably put this on Hardway Ministry. Uh, this police officer here was killed in his bed at home, and they're suspecting it was a homicide there in Texas. The thing of it is, folks, these people do not know what they're doing. If they create create total anarchy, then there's no one to protect them. Believe it or not, the police officer protects you, folks. I mean, yeah, there's some bad ones out there, but it's you know it's just like three to four percent. You got ninety-five to ninety-seven percent of good officers. I've known a lot of them and worked alongside of a lot of them. Folks, I wish you would do one thing for me. I wish you'd pray that all this gets resolved, and I hope that you'll pray with me that uh, the families of these slain officers will find some, some sort of comfort that people do really care, and not people like this lady here. This lady here doesn't care, and there's a lot of them that don't. But I feel that that's a very small majority, or excuse me, a minority in, in the United States. I don't feel that it's it, it's very many people that way. So uh, I'm going to say a little prayer here, and then I'm going to jump out of here. But if you like, you can pray along with me. Uh, Father, uh, we, we, we come to you today on humbled knees, on bent knees, uh, begging you and praying to you that you'll resolve this situation, that you'll give some comfort and solace to these fam or to their families, sir. Uh, and Father, we pray that uh, that we, when you resolve this, that you will tr cool the minds and cool the heads of, of these hot-headed young kids that's out there. They do not know what they're asking for. Uh, Father, it's, it's like Jesus said on the cross, Father, that forgive them, they know not what they do. And they don't. They're trying to start a war with the police. Uh, they're trying to start a war with the government. And they don't know what they're doing, Father. They don't know what they're getting into. Father, I pray that uh, that you will enlighten these folks, and you will come down, and you will, like with your grace, and you will touch the families that hurt and they're hurting from their losses. Families are hurting from both sides of the losses. Families hurting from the, the the folks that have been killed by the police officers and their families. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Folks, this is Pastor Kelly. I hope you prayed with me. Uh, try to have a blessed day. Amen.